So with section 12.3, problem number six, we're going to demonstrate how to do a sequence on your calculator. So the problem asks you to list out the first five terms of that sequence and then graph it. Let's work on the first part, which is listing out the first five terms of that sequence. If you wanted your calculator to do it, if you're, if you're too lazy to plug in, say, one, two, three, four, five, for n, then go to the list button. So you can do second and then list and then over to ops. And one of the things you'll see down there, the fifth option down, is for sequences. So second and then the stat button, which really takes you to list, the list menu, and then over to ops, down to sequence. And if your calculator's operating system is up to date, that is you have math print available, you should get something like this a little menu-driven dri expression. So it's going to be 6, and then parentheses, negative 0.5 raised. And I'm going to use an x here. The variable is x. Start at 1, end at 5, step of 1. So it's going to start with x equal 1, then x equal 2, all the way up to 5. And the step just tells you what it should increase by. And if I press enter, it'll paste it. If your operating system isn't up to date, then when you type second list and then go down to math and stat, all you're going to do is type in this expression exactly the way we have it here. Your expression, your variable, start, end, and step. And it should print out for you those numbers. Yay. Oh, you know what? I, you're right. I should have put it in the n minus one. I was looking at that going, wait a minute, those aren't quite right. So here, here's another little trick here. If you hit second and then enter, you can go back and re-edit one of your previous commands. So let's go up here and make that an n minus one, or x minus one, like that. And so that makes sense. So at n equal one, this is to the zero power, so I just get six times negative 0.5 to the zero, or six times one. And let's do one last thing here. Occasionally, you might want to add up these things. So if you wanted to add up those terms in the sequence rather than just typing them in, what you can do is, let's see, let's go down to catalog, second, and then zero. It takes you to catalog. And then we'll press the number four, because right above there is a T. And let's scroll up. I don't want summation, I want the sum. And I'll take the sum of my previous answer. So second, and then the opposite key down there, the sum of the previous answer. Well, the previous answer is that list. And if you sum up the previous answer, you get the sum of those six terms, five terms. Cool. Any questions on that? All right, I'll post it.